Welcome guys, MPK all the way here, back at you with another video. It's been a while since my last update, but we've been uh, working on a new grow room and we've been working on a new grow system. So here I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up my newly um, Alien Hydroponic Pro Silver uh, Series uh, RDWC system. As you can see all the parts laid out here before we're going to assemble them. Um, at the top you can see the basket where um, the, the, the pot basically where the hydroton goes in and your plant. Left of that are the aeration rings for the, uh, the bubbler and the, and the buckets. The buckets themselves with the epicenter on the, on the side. These are the 36 liter uh, buckets. So pretty big ones. Um, here we have our filter, the scissors we got to uh, cut the um, the pipes, and we have 50 millimeter piping with all the others as well. Our jet stream pump will uh, make sure that our system gets enough air. Um, it's a very nice uh, system they have, so let's get to it. First we start off with setting up our system the way we want it to be. So uh, we space them out so we can know what size and what uh, what measurements we have to take for cutting our lines so first of all i want my system to be set with 60 centimeters in between the middle of the pots which i'm measuring here so that way i will know exactly what size i have to cut them so as you can see here at 25 centimeters that will be the size i'll have to cut my pipelines um, these are flexible lines um, which is new to me um, usually they're they're stiff and hard pvc but these ones are flexible so that's interesting to see so you start off by measuring off the desired length you want and then you get your uh, scissors that they come with the set so you don't have to buy them they come included in the set it's very easy to cut through them um, just turn around make sure that you cut evenly um, the scissors is a little bit too small in my opinion to cut in one way through it that's why I did it in two sinks but no big deal make sure you have some hot basically boiling water standing inside you this will loosen up the pvc uh, connection so it's easier to put on to the coupler so as you can see me pushing in here so that way we put our um our, our spacer in between there that will prevent it from leaking uh, it's a, a gasket i think it's called i'm not 100 percent sure but make sure that when you put it in there you can see these two holes at the top of the of the connector make sure that they're on top or that they're not um well you're, that you you don't block them then goes on to a spacer this spacer will also as you can see has some cutouts so that it, it, it can keep the water open and then last of all you can uh, uh, attach these the ring to fasten everything they supply you with a nice and uh, a, a handy tool to fasten these these things so you can make them as tight as possible don't overdo it we don't want to break anything so just make it it's it's tight then you can take your other bucket and you can slide them together making your system the way you want it to be basically so it's it's pretty nice of them uh, they supply enough pipe so no worries um, next up we're going to install our um, our bubbler ring this uh, this is a specially designed um, aeration ring that has porous holes all over the over the body so it le makes a nice ring of, of, of bubbles um, they have uh, three suction cups to each of this ring so you can place it directly where you want and can keep it to the bottom as well as possible so very high, nice and handy to have them. as you can see here I went ahead and installed everything like I just showed you in the example um, so uh, you have an idea of how the system will look once it's done this roughly took me like 20 to 30 minutes to completely set everything up so just to give you an idea of how much time you will spend next up we're going to add our return line it's the blue thick uh, burr you can put it on top of the filter like you can attach it right to the filter and basically it goes from the filter it goes straight into the epicenter and straight into our recirculating pump so measure where you need to cut it cut it and just attach it simple as that nothing else needed to, to do this so very easy setup 
So here you see me connecting the, the pipe straight into the epicenter. Next up, we're going to attach our, um, our jet stream, our, our basically our air pump into our system. It, it comes with this uh, plastic elbow, which comes with some two clamps you put on. So basically you just put it on of the on the jet stream and you put the clamp as close as possible to the end. Next up you measure the um, airline, the gray airline. I will uh, measure it at the top of my epicenter so I have the right size. Again, put it in some hot water to be able to put in the uh, elbow that was uh, supplied with the system. That way uh, it gets on easier because these have to be snuck. So as you can see, it takes a little effort to put them in. Next, I'm going to take a small piece so I can uh, connect it to the T piece that was uh, added to our system. That way we can split up to the left and right side of our RDWC system. As so, so I can put on the, the elbow first and then I put on the T part. Next up, we have to measure the, the length of our um, sides of how much we need. So that's, I'm gonna put it on, uh, on the buckets. Make sure you leave a little bit more than uh, the last uh, clamp space. So I'm going to do like this. So you can see that this is the way we can measure um, the exact size of the length we need for this piping. Then after there, we can cut it with the scissors and we do the same thing, of course, on the other side, making two identical uh, length of lines. So cutting me here. Now we connect it to the T, of course, first putting it into the water, what I'm not showing on the video but first always put it in the water so it goes on easier onto these uh, on these parts. Um, here I'm taking the line that I have made off video for the other side, so that's connected now. So you can see now that it goes from the air pump, goes into an elbow and then into a T-piece, splitting it up into two sides. Next up, we take our clamps that got delivered with the system. Um, make sure that you put them in the right way. These will hold the, the line um, straight along the buckets. Uh, pretty neat, looks very clean, and it's very convenient. So this is how it looks once that they're all there. At the end, we will have an open hole, which we don't want, so we will insert a stopper plug. Uh, of course, again, this comes included into the system. So basically, you just put that plug in, and it prevents the air from leaking out at the end of the line. So this is how it will look eventually. This is the entire setup for the air. So I went ahead and make them all just to show you how this will look eventually when it's done. Next up, we're going to take our, our T, our, our other T, uh, so we can split up every the, the main line into the smaller lines that go into each bucket and into each ring. So basically, you, can, uh, you cut away the, the, the part that you need, take away a little bit of uh, extra uh, hose uh, because, of course, the T piece takes some, some space. So that's what I'm cutting off here. And then I attach it to the T piece. Next up, we will take our, um, our, our small aerated lines that will go into the buckets. This is how I um, align everything. So here I'm taking the, the small hose that goes into the bucket. There's, a, there's a, a space that they made, a cutout that they made for easy access of this hose. You attach it to the ring that's inside of the bucket and you make sure that it's snuck on there. Of course, it goes out. Keep a little bit of extra line, it's always handy. Cut it off where you need it to be and connect it to the main line. This way, this bucket is, um, is given air through the main line, through the small uh, piping, goes into the jet stream, uh, the, the aeration ring, I'm sorry. I uh, went ahead and finished everything up here, which you can clearly see. Um, everything looks very nice. I like the system, how it looks. Um, so here we're going to put on the, uh, the lids. It's a three-part system, so a main lid, then we have a, a topper, and last but not least, we have our basket where the plant goes in. <laughs> that all said and done, this is the system finally after everything has been set up looking very clean i like the way it looks next up we're going to install our float valve this will allow an automatic refill of our epicenter uh, with some clean water from offsite so 
we have a camo tank that was been delivered with this system it's not in the video because i will not be using it because i have my own big tank on the site so it's very easy to connect it every hole has been pre-drilled so it's it's pretty easy to attach everything make sure that it's connectly snugged and um, here i'm showing you the recirculating pump so it basically pulls out uh, the water through the system and puts it back in the epicenter and this other pump uh, is connected to my chiller the chiller is of course not um, supplied with the system this is an optional purchase that you can do but the holes are already pre-drilled and everything is already there in the system the system also comes with a bucket and a lid to top it off to prevent from light leaks so that's it this is our entire system very nice system very easy to set up i was very happy to uh to get this system and i'm very uh, um, excited to test it out i think it will do a great job in the end and it will also of course make sure that i have less work in maintaining my um, watering because with an rdwc uh, recirculating deep water culture that means we have the optimal environment for the roots at all times they don't have to search for water they don't have to search for nutrients it's available to them at all times that's the the benefit of doing deep water culture or in this case recirculating deep water culture so guys that's it um we completed the entire setup i hope you enjoyed the video if there are any questions or comments just leave them down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like would appreciate it it helps my channel a lot so i will see you guys in the next video peace out